And welcome back to Punch Up Plays. We're still playing Mass Effect. It's episode two. Episode two. We're still here on Eden Prime. Everyone's dead. <laughs> <laughs> and and they keep and more people keep dying. <laughs> First it was Jenkins, then it was Nihilus. But we did pick up an <laughs> Ashley, Nihilus. so that's nice. That's true. Uh, Ashley is worth her weight in Jenkins. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> all right we're making our way to a spaceport we're trying to find a prothean beacon it sounds very important yeah based on how everyone was talking about it and also it's yeah it's gonna help the humans get into the council the Whatever space happens. council yeah i'm just poking around all right Elliot still knows basically nothing about Mass Effect, and uh, I still know a lot about it. So we're going to keep pressing on yeah. until we... Oh, no. No. <gasps> no! <laughs> mm, mm, awkward. Awkward. Investigate. Maybe we can bring him back. Oh, what's that behind the crates? Don't, don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Uh, you need to be more careful. <laughs> Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Pal. Oh, hey, Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. <laughs> Tell me what happened! I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. First mistake, Nihilus. Never let your guard down. You'd think he would have Just known better. Me behind the crates. Uh, what about the beacon? We were told to the beacon? Was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that Just beacon nonchalantly getting on the train. It's gone to hell since we found it. Cold-hearted bastard. The mother ship showed up. Then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Uh, investigate. Tech, uh, ship. Actually, actually, uh, I would like to know why the Geth didn't find him. What a good question. How come you're the only one who survived? Well, technically, we found like six other survivors, but but they were inside of places. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Why? You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I oh. need a nap to get through my... Yeah. I, yeah, I feel that. Sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You <laughs> that is so valid. Lazy? Ashley doesn't uh, seem to approve. Yeah. Uh, you make me sick. Uh, I mean, I don't have to say anything. That's true. Um, yeah. Investigate. Attack beacon ship. Uh, the ship. Tell me about this mother ship you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It, it was huge. So big. Landed over near that. Platform. So big. The whole place got dark as it came down. And it was making this noise, this, this sound that bored right into your brain. Hmm. This woke hmm. me up. The attack came a few minutes later. Uh, go. With, let's do attack. Tell me about the Geth attack. <laughs> Everyone died. One minute. Yeah, right. It sucked. Minutes. Those Geth were swarming over the platform. Thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. I mean, yeah, mm. pretty much. Yeah. All right, let's go. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. <laughs> yeah, do what you need to do what you need to do, bestie. Mm hmm. Hmm. Burning corpse. Burning oh. corpse. Oh, Prehistoric oh. birds. Uh, mm, combat music's playing. Damn, get oh, oh. Sneaky bastard. This is. This is for Nihilus! I know you didn't kill him, but I don't care. Get my shotgun back out. Uh, 
Press R to bring up the power wheel. You don't say. All right, so we got that plasma coil over there. What if it was overloaded, huh? Oh, <gasps> yeah. Get fucked. So in the original release of Mass Effect, depending on your the class you pick, you could only use certain guns. Oh, that one's just coming right here in it. Died, yeah, wow. But in the legendary edition they fix it so you can use any gun you want. <sighs> I love using any gun. Any gun will do. I hate it when the powers you can. Got... Yeah. You got robbed. Yeah. <laughs> I hate these guys. Yeah, the geth aren't... Well, yeah, these geth aren't great. Are there good geth? Don't tell me. Time to take the train. Time to the train. This just happened in Dungeon Meshy too. <laughs> you bastard! Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Oh! <gasps> no evidence that we were here. No. Oh hey, that thing is vaguely beacon shaped. Yeah. God, his eyes are so cool. They are really cool. Too bad he's a bastard. Hmm? Who could it be? Hmm? Kumpst? Now, in a very low stress situation, there's a small timer at the bottom of the screen telling us how long it'll be until everything explodes. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. One down, three to go. One down, three. Oh, okay, it's only three. That's not that bad. Yeah, except. It could be five. Could be five. I'll let Caden and Ashley deal with all the bad guys. I'm sure they'll be fine. I gotta disarm some bombs. Do, 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 disarming bombs. Hey! Disarming a bomb. Thanks for the cover. <laughs> ah! And here's the last one. Mm, still one more after this. Oh, yeah, I can't count. Sorry. Four in total. This is this is why I I don't play the video game. Shields are down. Shields are down. Throw a motherfucker. Hi. <laughs> oh, good job. Good work, everybody. Yeah. Uh, you just have to find. Oh. Oh no, we already did that one. Hmm. No, we didn't. Oh. You're I'm just... just taking my time. We got three minutes left. Okay. We're fine. Okay. 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 I'm just saying, it's like a. Bad guys? It's we should important. probably take care of them first. No, there's bad guys over. Um, we should probably go. Uh, uh, Mike. That's yeah, fine. Mike. Uh, look, Caden's shooting no. at somebody. We got. We should probably take care of that. Mike, you're killing. Are there guys me. over here. Oh, look at you're all those killing coming me. down. You're killing me and Eden Prime right now. Wow. No. Probably there's all these bad. Look, the beacon's right there. Probably just take care of that, huh? 
<laughs> How much time we got left? Two and a half minutes? All right, we're good. It's we're fine. No. <laughs> we just uh, take care of these guys first. You're gonna. You're gonna. Hey, am I making the decisions or what? <laughs> oh. What? What was that? Do I need to. Was there something you want me to do, Elliot? I would love for you to disarm the last charge. But we got two whole minutes left. I mean, I don't. I'm just <sighs> playing the game here. You're a menace. <laughs> a menace to society. Oh, you mean this charge? And me specifically. Yes, that yeah. one. <laughs> we got a whole one minute. We 50. saved all those people. <laughs> they shouldn't yeah. just die. Well, look, all charges disarmed. Are you happy now? Yes. Okay. Ecstatic. Where'd that last one go? Hi. Hey there. You killed all the bad guys. Are you happy now? I am very happy. Now I'm going to go smear some techno goo on this locker over here. Yeah. Pick up some stuff. Now, you can tell how superfluous some of these items are going to end up being. Because when you open a lot of these, uh, it will just... Oh, well, I ran out of techno goo. Um... Ah, beans. Achoo. Now, you see down there at the bottom, there's an option to just turn everything into Omni-Gel. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> just, and I'm just going to do that right now. Boop. Yeah. Um, you are more, you are more useful to me as goop. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> That's like half the items in this game. Uh, yep, you can be goop, you can be goop. I could be goop, I could be goop, I could be goop, goop, be goop, I could be goop. Uh, there's I the could beacon, be but I think there's, there's one more thing of loot over here. I believe. Yeah, why did why did Saren just like walk away from the yeah. beacon? Like from his whole objective. Uh broken upgrades, sure. Yeah, that's a very good question. Like why did Saren just like do his weird floaty thing and then dip? That Yeah. I don't actually know. But uh let's uh let's touch the glowing thing and see what happens. Yeah, you know I love doing that. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. Don't touch it. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something Don't touch important. it. Kaden. Don't touch it. Standing by. Kaden. Uh oh. Maybe it wants Kaden. to be touched. I swear to Christ. Uh oh. Resist, Shepard! No, don't touch it's too Oh. I was gonna make a joke earlier about Event Horizon, but it did just happen. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna get some strong oh, the... Event Horizon vibes. Damn. Well, we're playing as Ashley from here on out. Short game. <laughs> Why do people like this one so much? <laughs> Meanwhile, the bad guy on his bad guy ship. And Bruce McKenzie. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. A human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. <laughs> May have. <laughs> oh, girl, me too. This human must be eliminated. Not if I eliminate you first, fucker. And by I, I mean Mike. I mean, look, you'll help. <laughs> There's lots of decisions to be made along the way about how we deal with him. Doctor, mm. Chakwas, I think she's waking up. Hey, Doc. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Great. What happened? I'm okay. 
Um, what happened? Uh, How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Ooh. Something happened down there. Hell of a nap. Broken, I think. Super bad for you. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Yeah, no shit, Caden. Yeah, Caden. I told you not to touch it. I wasn't saying it out loud, but you should have heard me. What happened to the beacon? Where's the beacon now? What happened to it? The beacon exploded. The system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. Uh... Thanks. I appreciate it. Physically, you're Kid fine. Kid nods. <laughs> but I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an Are you sure they weren't alpha waves? Yeah, <laughs> uh, Shepard's more of a sigma waves. <laughs> uh, increased rapid eye movement, intense dreaming. More like a nightmare. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. A death, destruction... Manuel was right. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. Oh, Captain. Dad. I mean, Captain. Uh, Dad, Dad. I mean, well, Captain. Dad. I mean, Captain. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Of course, Dad. Aye, aye, Captain. Captain. Is this about... In the mess if you need me. I won't. Are you sure you're okay? Uh, Jenkins. Jenkins. Uh, I'm. I feel all of these things. Um, Choose I one. do feel bad about Jenkins. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. What happened to Williams? Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? Yeah, forget I figured her. we could use a soldier like her. Oh, yeah. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Good. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. Um, pissed off about the Geth. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. <laughs> outside the points that's why things went down oh, I, lo I love the no shepherd point uh you wanted to talk you said you needed to see me in private captain i won't lie to you shepherd things look bad nihilus is dead i agree that is the worst thing that happened <laughs> the council's going to want answers uh oh. I did my job. I did my the job. Would have wiped out the whole colony if I hadn't stopped them. <laughs> I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. Yeah, you will. You're a damned hero in my books. Thanks, That's Dad. I mean, Captain. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a spectre, one of the best. One of the best. One of the best. God. If he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. Yes, I or agree that that is what that would mean. <laughs> Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Uh, he wanted the beacon. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. But it had something to do with that beacon. Yeah, of course you it did. Just before that beacon yeah. Constructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Uh, a, a vision. That's Different definitely what that was. Consciousness. I had some kind Vision. A vision? A vision of what? What could it have been? Uh, it certainly looked like war I to me. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. It's bad we need stuff. to report this to the council, Shepard. Council? Ugh, not those guys. <sighs> What are we gonna say? What What are we gonna say? What are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology, blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Sarah took it. Ugh, oh, okay. I so he Sarah. didn't just like I know his find it and then like leave. Okay. Are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. 
He has the Seekers from the Beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. Well, that's not good. Not if I can help it. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a Spectre. He can go anywhere. Do almost Spectres anything. have a license to kill. That's why we need the Council on our side. We expose him. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the council will revoke his Spectre status. Yeah, like that one James Bond movie where they revoke his yeah. Spectre status. Yeah, exactly like that one. see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. All right. So, back on the Normandy. Saving so in case the game back crashes. Back on the Normandy. <sighs> so, we spend quite a bit of time here in the Normandy. There's lots of options in order to, like, talk to people. There's crew around we can talk mm -hmm. to. We got Caden over there. We got Ashley over there. Dr. Chakwas. Uh, let's check in with Ashley. So I'm see how she's okay, faring. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins. <laughs> Jenkins. Uh, he'll be missed. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. We'll How never forget Jenkins. I, probably. <laughs> Jenkins is still alive. I might not be here. Uh, girl. Uh, you you earned it. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. Uh, how are you holding up? Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? You okay? You okay? I've seen friends you okay? Before. Comes with being a marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you I know exactly how you feel, <laughs> literally. <laughs> things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. Mm-hmm. Uh, you helped. <laughs> you helped. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sell yourself short, girl. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. Glad to have you. I think you're going to fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. Paragon plus two, because we were nice to Ashley. Good to make your... I guess they're not technically my employees, but it's good to make your employees feel good about where we're, they work. We're like a That's ranking officer on the I ship. We're, we're commander. Yeah. Um, anyone else to be down a good here manager. Oh, hey, our locker. Uh, Extra stuff. I'm going to turn it to goo. <laughs> um, I guess we kind of already talked to the doctor. True. Uh, there's Caden. Uh, let's check in with Caden, too. Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins. I'm just saying. Caden is going to be a romance option for us if we want. And... <laughs> Uh, that's fair. That is we'll the talk, correct reaction. We'll talk later. <laughs> I need to go see Joker. Sure thing, Commander. All right. Now we're not going to take the slowest elevator in space. <laughs> yeah, take the stairs. You know, we were just we were just asleep for fifteen hours. Got to get our blood pumping. Got to get our blood pumping. All right. Back on the bridge. There's Presley Back again. The bridge. Presley is probably fine. codex entry for experience. So there's going to be a bunch of those little, like, random floating things that are just like, give us a codex entry. The codex is, of course, in here. We're not going to go through mm -hmm. all the codex entries because there's a shitload of them. Um, but yeah. every time we find one, they do give us experience and it does add up. So I'll be hunting okay. around okay. for those. Alright, Joker. What kind of good quips you got for me today? Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Are you even remotely sad about Jenkins? Joker doesn't give a shit. All right, there's the who was relay. who was Jenkins? That's my really good Seth Green impression. <laughs> Ready for some more glorious space architecture? Yeah, always. There Ooh. It is. That is the Citadel. Ascension. Flag 
ship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. The Ascension. Why oh my god. I'm just saying you need too. <laughs> Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Citadel control is it SSV Normandy requesting permission. Yeah, probably. Stand by for probably. It's probably fine. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy now. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. Ooh, ah. Observe the pylons. Wow. Majestic. Outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians hey, don't found the colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, mm -hmm. Ambassador. Humanity was well aware Ambassador. of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Not before. Oh my god. Ready for some space bureaucracy? Captain Anderson, I Ugh. brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's Never place topic. Udina's accent. Like him being accused of yeah, it's... And, like, in later games, he'll, like, swing Irish. Like, it's it's very bizarre, like, mold. Yeah, it's, it's space, it's the future, yeah. what are you sure. gonna do? Uh, it's the truth. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Yeah. Settle down, Commander. Yeah. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. Yeah, that's what I care about right now. <laughs> you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's and none of those numbers. things were my fault. Thank you, you, Dad. I mean, Captain. The CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. And Don't again, that's what I care about. Go over a few things before the hearing. That's what the Ambassador Jared, cares you about. You and the can meet us at the Citadel <sighs> Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Thank you, Ashley. Ugh, you and me too, girl. Ashley knows what's up. She knows what's up. Alright, gonna pick up some side quests here. We're gonna grab some beers and just talk shit about Ambassador Undita later. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, because we picked... Femship, Ashley is not one of our romance options. Um, okay, Bioware. During Pride Month, I don't well, actually know yeah. if these are going to come out during June, but still, uh, this we got to remember. We got to set Mass Effect in its time and place. This is like an era in which people freaked out that there was sex in a video game. Um, and bisexuals didn't exist yet. And bisexuals didn't exist yet. Well, you say that I. We have not met all the romance options yet. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so, we are on the Citadel now. We're going to spend the next big chunk of time here, I think. Uh, so, strap in, y'all. Uh, we right. got to collect yeah. some party members, and we got to uh, talk to some people. There's all sorts of things that need to happen here. Um, what's and, this? A room uh, full of aliens. What's this? A room full of aliens? Uh, and that is gonna have to happen next. That's the so we're starting our next leg of our journey, and this one will come to a close. Yes, indeed. Uh, thanks for joining us. As always, I have been Mike Gergoni, and I'm Elliot Lewis, and we'll catch you next time on Mass Effect.